Welcome to a new Thrive Teams tutorial. This time we will learn how to use the toggle element from the Thrive editor. So this is the page I will be working on, it's just a regular landing page template, so let's just go ahead and drag and drop the toggle element onto our content from this right sidebar list of elements. So when you're first adding the toggle to your page, it will automatically load with a default template that you can easily change from this first section of the left sidebar. So I'm gonna go ahead and browse this template library and show you what other templates are available for you to use. So let's just go with this one from here. Now there's only one thing I'd like to mention here, changing the template of the element after you've done other type of customization on it will mean that all those changes will be revoked so you will lose them. Therefore changing the template is something that should be done at the beginning of the customization and not at the end. So this is just something to keep in mind when working with elements that have this template library here at the top of the left sidebar options. Now let's see what happens if we go into the edit toggle items mode. So clicking on the button will trigger another set of options. Options that I can use if I want to modify various items that are making up this toggle element. So the element itself is made out of many other smaller elements so to speak, such as icons like this ones or maybe text elements. So the list of main options that we had access to before is for customizing the element as a whole, whilst in the currently styling mode you can modify smaller items. Now there's another interesting feature worth mentioning here and that is the group styling feature. So this helps you bring changes to all items of the same type at once. So at the moment as my toggle is collapsed I only have this selection right here but if I'm gonna go ahead and expand for example the first toggle then I will be able to see that there are additional sets of items that can be customized at once. So let me just for example click on this text and type something else instead. So as soon as I did that, my selection here has changed to all text, meaning that all the formatting options that I apply here will be visible on all the texts that are listed under my toggles when expanded. Now the text itself, what I've typed here is only visible in this first toggle. So my second toggle will have again the default text, but if for example I'm going to go ahead and apply formatting options to them, such as maybe changing the color and making them bold, you can see that these changes have been made on all the texts that are available under my toggles when expanded. So whatever text you type here will only be added under that particular toggle item, but if you apply formatting options to it, then those changes will be visible on all the texts listed under the toggle items. Now if you are wondering if you can maybe just adjust the formatting of one text in particular, you should know that you can do that as well, but first you have to make sure that the group styling feature is disabled. And here's how you can do that. First select the item that you would like to work on, in this case this text right here, and then click on this little green icon. As soon as you do that, the lock will turn red, meaning that the group styling feature is disabled. So the styling will be applied only for the selected item. So if I go ahead and select a different type of formatting for this text, then this will only be visible here under my first toggle where this group styling feature is disabled. So this is how the group styling feature works. Now you might be seeing this plus icon here in between the toggle items. If you click on it, you will add a new toggle item identical to the previous one just with one click. Okay, now let me just go back here to the grouped toggle items. The options from here of course might vary depending of the selection that you have here, but mainly the options are similar so you can adjust the icons, color, size and rotation from some of these selections depending on what you're editing, then some of them maybe don't have any particular options except for the general ones. So feel free to browse through this list and see exactly what you would like to customize. Now whenever you want to go back to the main options of the element, just click here on done or click here in the left sidebar on exit group styling. Now back to the main options of the element, here's what else we can do here. Now depending on the template you have chosen, you might have here one or two color pickers. And in this case the main accent color of the toggle has been inherited from the landing page template, but you can change it anytime you want using this color picker from here. 
Next comes the columns slider. So you can divide your element into several columns so that they will not be stacked on top of each other as they are in the default mode. I'm going to leave it like so for the moment. Then you can use this slider to adjust the maximum width. And then from here, you can adjust the vertical spacing and horizontal spacing between the toggle items. Then the following option is for deciding how the visitors should see the toggles when they land on your page. If this is enabled, then the user cannot open more than one toggle at a time. So when a user clicks on a toggle to open it, all the other open toggles will be automatically closed. Now in the following drop-down list, you can select what animation to apply to the toggles. And then from here, you can adjust the speed of the animation. So let me just set the speed to slow and then use the slide and fade option from here to show you how this looks like. So you can see that the animation is fairly slow and there's a small fade effect when I'm expanding and collapsing this toggle. Lastly, we reach the final section of the main options and you can add as many as you want from this button right here and you can also drag them around to change their position if you want. And then you can use this pencil to edit the toggle and lastly, you can remove them using the trash icon. So if, for example, I'm going to drag this toggle right at the bottom of my list, you can see that it's now listed here instead of the previously set position. Now this concludes our video tutorial about how to use the toggle element. Feel free to check out other tutorials of this type if you want to learn more about our products. <laughs>